holy shit, y'all. <laughs> this isn't even in the same universe as the rest of the series. Breathe, sweetie. You're safe now. Culture Shock is directed by Gigi Saul Guerrero, and it stars Martha Higuereta, Sean Ashmore, and Richard Cabral. And it tells the story of a young Mexican woman who, while pregnant, decides to cross the border in order to guarantee a new life for her baby. And what she finds on the other side is not what she expected. This shocked the hell out of me. I expected another low-budget, low-effort, made-for-TV movie pretty standard to expect at this point, given every other Into the Dark episode. What I got instead was a well-directed, thoughtful thriller with some actual style and intent and thought put into it. It's a little derivative overall, sure, but the points that it brings up and the real-world issues that it talks about are very prevalent in today's society, and it talks about them in a very inventive way. An Into the Dark episode with themes it actually gives focus and thought to? Something in this series that actually has something to say? Guerrero utilizes two styles here. Half the film is shot in this lo-fi, guerrilla filmmaking style, and an overall naturalistic feel to portray the real-life horrors of getting up and leaving everything you know behind in order to escape to a new life, and all the dangers, both physically, emotionally, and economically, that that presents to you. And honestly, I could have watched an entire movie on the border crossing alone. The things that Marisol has to endure in order to guarantee a better life for her child are draining and heartbreaking and really hard to watch. And it really does a good job at putting you in her shoes, especially as somebody who hasn't been there yourself. All the hardship, financially, emotionally, and physically, that she and the others that are with her have to endure is enough to make you root for them. Now take that feeling and apply it to the thousands of immigrants actually doing it in real life. It's eye-opening, it really is. And then you have the other style, once they get to the other side of the border. And this is when the film becomes a little bit derivative. It's very clearly inspired by Get Out and the Stepford Wives, painting this picturesque 50s Americana-style town filled with white people and Barbara Crampton who smile a little bit too big and everything feels slightly off. The colors are slightly brighter, the editing is more chaotic. Suddenly Marisol and the other migrants can speak perfect English despite not knowing it before. I won't spoil the actuality of what's happening in these bits because it's kind of amazing the way they go about revealing it, but I'll say that in spite of the fact that we've seen similar things to this before, this tackles multiple real-world issues on a much broader scale. The crisis at the border, the private prison industry, the fiction of the American dream, the horrors of technological advancement a la Black Mirror. And it honestly tackles so much more than that, there's too much to even go into. I could honestly talk about this movie unscripted for at least half an hour. There's so much to delve into here. Martha Higuereta is phenomenal as Marisol. There's a certain naturalism to everything she says and does. You never feel like you're watching a character. All her actions feel completely genuine. Marisol's a woman who's been through a lot and only continues to suffer throughout the majority of the movie. Being with her on that journey and suffering alongside her really only serves to make the payoff of her eventual comeuppance against her rapist really, really, really satisfying. <laughs> Honestly, it's probably the most enjoyable comeuppance I've seen since Revenge. To see a film like this, with half of the movie in subtitles, from Blumhouse in the Into the Dark series is a breath of fresh air that I cannot even begin to detail. It feels like the least studio-restricted film of the bunch, and that is wonderful. I don't even have too much negative to say about this one. Sure, its themes are a little heavy-handed with lines like, we're not paid to give them the American dream, we're paid to keep them out of it. But a little heavy-handed thematics never hurt anyone too much, I kinda like them if they're done well. And aside from that heavy-handedness and the fact that we've seen a story like this before, this movie kinda slaps and I'd ultimately call it the best in the series. I'm gonna say that Culture Shock is a must-see. It's a harrowing, true-to-life depiction of the immigration crisis at the border, and it handles it all with a unique sci-fi edge that I wasn't expecting from this series at all. It's clear that Guerrero has very specific personal thoughts on the issues that she raises in this movie, and I think she illustrates her points pretty well, while still doing something fun and genuinely cool with the story. I seriously can't recommend enough you guys check this out, and while Puka is still the one I enjoyed the most, I think this is the best. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this channel and you want to see more, click down there, like, comment, subscribe. There's a Patreon link down in the description if you want to be like all these people right here. You can get access to all sorts of new rewards, anything from access to my private Discord server, to give sent right to your door once a month. If any of that interests you, please consider donating. I would appreciate it very much, and I will see you all very soon. We're not paid to give them the American dream. We're paid to keep them out of it. Ah!